through that Viper wall, as you'd mentioned. Some marks coming in, and then smokes as well to cut off sewers. First kill of the matchup's gonna go to automatic, and T1's guns are hitting all their marks. Pistols out, Ooh. using very effectively. First casualty for T1, Brax. He'll fire back and forth, leaving Vanity in a 1v3, and he won't prevail. Go down yet again on the BU site. They'll back away. Curry there trying his best to try and hang on to this site. And his teammates nearby. Look at the Astro Orbs and the heal as well. As now Penny is waiting for a sound cue to play off of this. You can hear bullets going out. A flash will go by as well. Penny hasn't been spotted. Unsure if T1 knows of Penny's location. You try to quarterback this off. Nine players still alive in the server. Diffusing going on from Skadoodle. Do they know they're trying to stop him? He'll get to the halfway mark as they trade out kills. Leaving V1 at a major disadvantage. Up goes a dart, but it does nothing. Hold on over. Zelsus now will try to cover on the flank. That's where Skadoodle will likely come from. He scouted it out. Still, T1 has intel on this B site. So far through these last two rounds, T1 have been picture perfect on shutting down a potential retake from V1 or a post plant now. As their retake has been quite strong. Curry fakes the sound with Penny still in this exact same position. The element of Dawn is not too far off of being able to see this jet. But who moves a muscle first? That's the real question. Vanity trying to make some noise on the flank to distract them, and it looks like V1 is getting really aggressive on the retake. Doesn't work so well for Penny, but Whippy, it does, and Epi's as well. They're on the defuse. There it is. Unfortunately for them, V1 are too focused. There's too much objective focus from T1, and v version 1's not ready for it. Version 1 continues to hammer away at that B site. Now they get the opening pick, and the duel and the first blood goes in their favor very quickly here on round 5. Spike looked like it was lined up for a C take. Garage, but instead, no, they're walking it back. Oh. Could it be a spike being planted? Zelsus at the halfway mark. It'll be successful. D1 have been great in the post plant. Will this continue to carry over? That's the real question. They're spread out, but they'll need to retake the site. Unfortunately for them, Automatic is a little bit too far behind, but he'll get there just hopefully a little bit sooner than he already is. Nobody's really moving a muscle right now. Waiting for utility to go on out. Automatic bursts in. Knives out, but no damage that can be done just yet. Smoking his way up. Zelsus just misses out on it. He gets smoked by Curry. Penny trades off. Brax now waiting. Nice shot from Dawn and Brax to combine. It's Whippy in a 1v3. They're on the defuse. You're going to have to fire it away, but no, Dawn will sneak it again. And Buying. They're going to bring knives on Penny this round, though, and he's oh. already out of the equation. Say goodnight to Penny. Nice shot from Automatic. He's been wonderful with that operator thus far and carrying the team in terms of kills. Now... On backing away as everybody from version one entering the site are getting swiftly removed. Effie's is the last hope, but no, it's six in a row. Successful. The post plant for V1 has been quite miserable, and T1 have excelled every single time they've gone to retake the site. Will it be fifth times a charm? That's the question. T1 are going to try to wait out this, uh, this Viper's Nest as Penny guards over it. He'll be spotted out by the sky or not. Skadoodle looks like she loses it, or he loses it rather at the same time. Flash goes out, Penny looks away, they're still holding this down. Patience was something you talked about for version 1. But right now, I think they might be a little bit too slow, as T1 are just not able to get into the site the way that they want to. Zelsus watching the doors, looking for kill number 1 for Zelsus still. I feel like that's it. Yep. I point the past the point of no return, it's a save from Team 1. Nice shot, and they're managing to knock them down and hurt them as we're looking for any potential intel that could be there from T1. T1 backing away, Penny spotted, Skadoodle wins that duel. Spike goes down, but Skadoodle will now try to blind them. He's got his back to the site. The rest of T1 will need to collapse on this and do so in a hurry. Skadoodle looks the wrong way, but good news for him. Curry is back, Zelsus falls. Skadoodle now picks up number 2. Intel coming out for these defenders. He can sit on that spike very quickly. A 4v2, doubling up for T1. Dawn falls, but so does Whippy. Epi's wow. is gone, and that's an easy defuse. And you'll just see, they'll toss utility back and forth. Spike planted from version 1. T1 have been almost uncontested when it comes to these retakes. And they'll continue to just throw out their abilities as much as they can. Rax needs to be careful. Penny's down low, looking for a kill. A retake from T1 now into the back and the heart of the site, and all their guns are hitting. Zelsus finds his first kill, but he's paid for by Curry. It's F. He's in a 1v4. T1 can taste this ninth round, and they can taste it indeed. It'll go to them. They'll defuse and trade it off. A number of spikes planted, but obviously not for much. Penny's going to burst into the site. It's a C take for version 1. T1 will need to tackle this one head on. Oh, no! Here we go! It might not be a full buy, but the Spectre's working out for version 1. Three kills to their name. Brax is the only one to get one so far for his team. T1? Well, version 1 can double up on them. It's automatic and Brax trying to keep this intact. 
They might just hold off, though. Not entirely certain. Waiting patiently. Automatic still has that operator in hand. Vandal for Brax. Brax will retake through Garage. He sees Vanity. Can't hit his marks. Oh, no! Oh. Vanity just manages to evade him on that one. Over to A, but this appears to have been read well by T1. They've already rotated. They're waiting very patiently. It'll be Curry first one. And he sees some marks. One shot in, but FVs is able to trade off. Brax falling away. A Cosmic Divide still up. Automatic scouting as best as he can. I think he just missed out on seeing Zelsus. I'm not entirely certain. FVs gets the spike down, though, and it's another post-plant for T1 where they've shown thus far they're capable of beating back v1 version one will now wait any playing the spot you can hear the turret go off that's some information maybe no damage but it doesn't matter at least he knows that there's somebody playing up above in heaven Effie's with the lineup on the arrow automatic bursts in ultimate out knives out but he's got his back turn looking in the wrong direction don shuts down penny automatic still searching for something he might find one there you go t1 cleaning up the site but they trade back and forth v1 just need to find brax that's it but brax gets the kill it's a 1v1. It's him versus Elsis, but no Elsis swings, and that's the first half. Fading very patiently. Whippy falling off. They're just on defense right now. Oh! oh. We made the wrap! We got all the way around. The oh, and it's just a bloodbath. An absolute frenzy right now. Down, By carrier killed, obviously. I got the spike. What comes next? That's the real question. Oh, they've made that recovery, they're going to be able to get that plant down, but it's not as good as they thought it would be initially on the entry. T1 making that wrap really impressive, but now they find themselves in this 2 versus 3. The action by Connector to spawn, not going to work out in favor of T1, and now it's a flank from Zelsis. He's in the perfect position to lock this one up, and he will take down Dawn and the second. It's when it's set up well, and it looks like version 1's ready for this. Vanity with the initial challenge, and he's taking that fight direct to them. Almost gets two, but Automatic will get one with the Classic. Whippy, though, ready from Logs, and the Flash comes out perfectly timed. Down goes Whippy, and now C Sight Control in favor of T1. No traces will be spotted there as... Well, Zelsus is going to do what he can to stop them. Spike down, so you're working with the timer right now. Could be absolutely monumental for T1 to try and keep this one together. Oh. Penny stopping them in their tracks! It's Dawn versus Penny into a 1v1. Spike down means that Penny's going to have to bait this one out. There you go, sound cue. Sees the shoulder of the omen, and Penny is a bit of a scout as the wolves come out for Skadoodle. Automatic now stopping that Intel version 1, sweeping in. They might have forfeited the first kill, but they find the next two. And then a third added to that, a fourth as well, as they are just cleaning everything up. Brax will now be the one to try and hold this off for like right down. They bought themselves about five seconds worth of time. Lockdown ensuing. So version 1 will now be able to retake with this here. They've got Intel on the spike. They see exactly where it is as T1 falls off. They see the radius of the lockdown. They're not going to contest it. So version 1's retake now. Working out in their favor, trying to scout C Long with the ultimate from Effies. He's not going to find anything yet. Whippy steps up to try and delay, and he does so miraculously. Zelsus' ultimate is also up. So at some point, they can do their best for a retake and try to confuse Team 1. Team 1 will literally do anything at this point for a single round on attack. It's a full buy on their end. He's still uncertain of where they want to go, but right as I say that, it looks like C's the target. Skadoodle falls, shot gracefully by Penny. Very next one up, playing over by this garage window. And he's still eyeing that same spot. Don't blink, you can get the shot down if you want. Dawn managing to get the spike down. There they go, the retake will work out as the numbers for T1 fall. Objective play is good. Automatic now will try to pinch them. He could have a miraculous lineup, but he gets out-dueled by Zelsis. Brax the next one in line of defense. He gets shut down, swiftly removed. Dawn, can you be the hero for your team? You start with one, but that's all you're gonna get. Their side. And he backs away over towards C as Automatic takes charge of the B site, spike in hand, and that will be a successful plant. Retake now. P1 in free fall, dropping seven or eight consecutive rounds in a row, not where they want to be. So, version one, just need to sit on this. What are you going to do? T1 will be babysitting the spike. Curry and Penny, round two, same spot. Penny prevailed last time around. Will lightning strike twice? Curry looking for the jiggle peak. All the while this is happening. Timer continues to go. Nice shot from Automatic and Skadoodle 2 from Automatic. Huge plays. And it's a thrifty round from T1. Falling off their attention on B is gone. That's a nice shot from Penny on Automatic to start this off. Yeah, not easy to deal with that. The Ashen Star, though, detonates. There you go. Another for Penny. He lines up for the third, but can't land the shot. Still, though, this execution in through Garage is entirely blunted.
Tries a shot through the door, can't find anything. Final 30 seconds now for both of these teams to try and work with it. The streak that V1 was on, broken. A flash comes out, but Penny's not blind. No, Penny sees clear as day, but so does Skadoodle. Answering back, even though it's Skadoodle in a 1v4. Sustaining some damage, but nowhere near enough time. He'll walk Went to rotate and make the adjustments necessary to win either on a retake or an initial rebuff. That's the very first kill coming out from Automatic. He adds another to the tally, reigning supreme. Now he's going to charge forward. Classic out. Three kills for him and the Operator and him will be once again familiar. They see that it's empty and there's for the taking. And Automatic will break forward. Still got knives and hands. Looks the wrong way. That indecision cost him his life. Zelsus opens up this round. It's not a great start there, obviously, for T1. And they're going to rotate over to C, but the enemy is ready. V1 is positioned on log. Ska gets one and the other for Curry. So T1, despite the enemy team being ready for them on C, is to be honest, Parker, with uh, T1 unable to win any of their attack rounds. But again, their lethality has returned. And a big part of that round for me is just, again, it's it's T1 just going for it. Just se seizing the day. Carpe diem and all that yada yada. It's beautiful when... It's going to be a B stack up. Oh, automatic if you knew just to pull the trigger right there. Oh. He does so on the FEs. He'll have to turn around. Lockdown goes down. Spike will need to be planted at some point. Skadoodle's doing just that. Or was, oh. rather. And he sees the burst. It's no come through from A. He connects on automatic. Pulls out the knives. Looking for one on the Skadoodle. But his shoulder shows. Immediately onto the objective. Skadoodle with spike in hand. It's a successful plant. He won have the A site. It'll be a retake now from version 1. And that's been the story of this map so far. Is can you successfully retake on defense? For both of these teams, the answer, more often than not, has been yes. For version 1, it must be a yes. Or this map goes to your opponents. Zelsa sees two of them. No, he misses his shots on a skadoodle raining from above. It's heaven, but they're being sent to hell. Sk of course, we talk about the meta being in flux, but with these lineups, I don't suspect we're going to see anything any different. Oh. Very first pistol round, and skadoodle's going to capitalize. To take control of A, so with version 1 in position, they might be able to get that spike down, but obviously T1 is well aware of this. Penny, the leadoff kill for his team. Down goes skadoodle, but Curry is pushed up. He's ready to take from above. Cut off there in the middle will work out great for Whippy, at least delaying the rotation from automatic. But the kills are coming in for T1, and it's just Effie's now trying to retake into a the site he had just got control of a few moments prior. Through that angle, Curry's over on the other side. He'll need to get in. First kill's Dawn. Skadoodle's down, so is Dawn. So V1 can fire back. Automatic, gun in hand, down goes Effie's. He's still playing the back of the site. Oh, if he'd only pulled the trigger right there, he could have dispatched Whippy, but he didn't see him through that Viper wall. Rack's now up top, but he doesn't know that Zelsus is behind him. The pistols are working out for V1. Automatic and Curry now find themselves outnumbered, but not outgunned. It's a vandal in the hands of Curry. Spike will need to be planted. Zelsus sees Automatic, takes him down. Curry with that turret taken out. Zelsus will need the next target for Curry. Onto the spike, but there goes a nano swarm. Too much damage being done, just whittled away at. Vanity backing away, and Zelsus wins it. Spike getting planted from Effie's firing through the container, but he can't hit the shots. Gone, unable to do what he needs to do, so they've got a retake on their hands. T1 knowing how hard this can be. Effie's took a tiny bit of damage, but that's about it. Even though they trail in numbers, they've still got control of the site. Curry might catch Zelsus here. Yes, he does. And it's not quite equalized. The advantage swings in favor of T1. Curry's still on the flank, but the problem is, is that you're going to be distracted. Good enough for a second on the Whippy. And look at that. Alir goes out. Skadoodle trying his best on top of the spike. And T1 clean up. That's going to be a flaw. He has Whippy with him all the way inside of market. He could do some work here. They've taken Kitchen and continue to move forward. Don doesn't know what's going to hit him. Neither does Skadoodle. He gets flattened. Don will try to swing in. Misses his Ooh. shots too for Whippy. That's the control they need. Brax is holding down middle though. He says no thank you to version 1. Zelta's still above and Brax won't see him. So hold this off. He won't be able to stop the spike from going down, but he's got Effies. He's vulnerable. Traded by Zelsus. Automatic and Zelsus now in a battle to the death. Operator's still out. This is a one shot, one kill, Ooh. and kill needs to be highlighted on that one. Swift Curry, the next one up. Will he see it through the smoke? No, I mean, he does, but he's not good enough to connect with the kill that he needs. Viper's Den's gonna go out, and Automatic continues to push back. Doesn't want to lose any of his HP in the process. Penny, be the one to go onto the flank with Brax in front of him. A kill for Zelsus. He won't have knocked out two members of T1. A 5v3. A minute still to go, and Zelsus will do his best with Killjoy to prevent a flank from going through. Effie's also in the same spot. You might have an operator, but I've got a Vandal and one shot's all that it takes from Effie's. Might have been a double tap, but 
For now, the one shot is all they need. Skadoodle sees the head of Whippy, and he doubts himself, but just for a second, that's a oh. hard mark to hit. Like he's being repositioned and called over to action. Ooh. Automatic smoked off. There's a slim angle for him to be able to play off of this, and he's just might miss out. But no, oh. a collateral, a big shot. And both if you are T1, but maybe wait a second or two here. As V1 have that control by the back of the site. Automatic lined up to see if somebody's going to contest him. Curry sees him, lines him up. The operator was there for backup. Curry picks up a time. He's going to get spotted, and that recon bolt will give his position away. Penny bursts in, looking to try to make space for his team. Might not be able to do that. Automatic connects on the vanity. Skadoodle, the revive on the Curry. He'd been dropped by Zelsus just before. Automatic, a second kill. Tagging them from above. Oh, Penny and vanity down. Effie's trying his best. Recon goes out, nothing there, nothing found. It's destroyed. Skadoodle picks up a kill. Brax one as well. Automatic has two. Effies tries the spray transfer, but no, there's too many inside of his line. One are O oh and two. If you're T1, you are baffled as to how this is. And Michael, there might be something working with your theory in regards to Zelsus being a difference maker here. It's a full buy, and Zelsus, speaking of, well, he cleans up. Penny, he's down. It's a shock arrow from Brax. Automatic will now try to hunt. This is the spike being planted on A yet again. Nobody from version 1 is going to move a muscle. It's incumbent upon T1 to try and take this fight. And there goes a wall, but no! Skadoodle gets shut down before anything can really happen. The wall still goes out, but is it going to be good enough? Nobody's on the spike. In a reposition now from Vanity, but he gets Ooh. smoked by automatic. Looks up top, a second, but no! Very important that he puts in some work. Well, this is going to be the last round before we swap these sides, and didn't you just say something about putting in work? Automatic finds that very first target. It's onto Vanity. There's a lockdown in the back oh. pocket of Zelsus as well, but Automatic now will pull out the knives. The op is just not good enough for him. He just, with the updraft, tries to do something. Can't find it. Getting taken some serious damage. No way he gets out of there alive. He can quite possibly get healed up by Skadoodle. They just need to link up. He's going to leave Whippy to try and save this <laughs> round, and he finds Curry, so no flawless for T1, but... Version 1, seems like unless we see the most marvelous of clutches, that we're going to go to a tied first half. 12 rounds? We'll hit the reset button, as we call it. Whippy spotted, and one will move to attack on a map that has been very fast thus far. The very first kill is going to come out from the attackers. Automatic grabs that one onto Penny. That was in mid. Ooh. Now we'll head up ramp towards Tube. Effie thinks that there's somebody up top inside a kitchen. He's correct, but they go by without him spotting it. And Automatic will continue to walk towards the site. Dawn, not too far off. Ooh, nothing fully committed to here from version 1, but Effie's is going to get Dawn, so that's full control there. Automatic trying to rotate, but Whippy is ready for it. The back and forth continues. These teams even in man count, but the post plant here as the spike is down for T1 favors them significantly. And time will tell. Nice shot from Vanity, by the way. Curry, basically an immobile target at that point. Whippy will just wade through the wall. They managed to catch Skadoodle looking the wrong way. There goes Brax. He's... Players ready to receive this. Well, they're going to be quick to this one. Curry with the Vandal in hand. He needs to look to his right. Down goes Penny, but... Or down goes Vanity, but at least Penny's there to hold them off. Whippy one as well as Penny's fallen back. A retreat is in order to try to hang on to this B site, as the rest of the cavalry will need to be called on in. T Wiper walls still obscuring a line of sight in a very common plant spot. Penny swings out, oh, but it's Effies to grab the last kill. Penny falls. Dawn's the one to trade that one. Zelsus and Effies in a 2v2 against Dawn and Brax. That's what we're looking at right now. Control towards the mid portion of the map is in hand for the defenders of V1. They have fallen off. They're going to allow T1 entry. How gracious of them. That spike will need to go down. The attempt is Effies will be immobile. Shock Dart goes out. No damage done the way they wanted to. Vandal from the Vandal from Brax connects. Zelsus will have to be the hero. He's been warming up and continuously improving as this match has gone on. All he has to his name at this point is a Spectre. Takes down Dawn. One more. Brax will finish off the plant. He grabs the second Spectre. And there oh. you go. Zelsus is just so good and under Sneaky and get into the back lines. He needs to be a potent force, and he will be indeed. He's got teammates nearby. Almost a second connected for him. Spike gets taken out by... Go all the way back and hold it from afar. Here comes the Killjoy lockdown to try and get some room to work with. It was totally unnecessary, but they didn't know that. And it's going to give them some confidence when pushing back for the retake. Curry with that Guardian still able to do some damage. They're going to swing. Dawn can't connect. V1 wins both of their gun duels and a third as well. Nobody is left standing except for Effies. 
fully commit here, but as you can see, version one are well aware that there might be a rotate. They're leaving people the far back, and here comes the push. Zelsis is ready for it. He's got one, but he's going to need to turn his back. Viper's pit goes out. Also, the slow from Sage, but it doesn't stop automatic as he's able to continue to swing on. Curry brought back to life. That's a redemption and a resurrection oh. from Skadoodle. Do you believe in magic? Well, you better start. Vanity takes two down. Skadoodle an automatic trade right back at 3v3. These teams drawing even. Velsis still down below. Gets smoked by Skadoodle swinging around yellow. And Effies will now need to be the one to push up. Very quietly, very patiently. Make something work. Penny's got the operator. Nice shot. Darts away. Effie's waiting. Still obscured. That's the word to go for. The Sage Wall out. Penny will pull out the knives. Skadoodle going for the plant, but they're running out of time. Penny will dart around. Take one down. What a huge clutch. The spike is down, but they've got... That was interesting. At least he gets the information he wants, and he'll call out the rotate for the rest of his team. He'll even get a pick on an automatic. No, not automatic. T1 blunted in their momentum after that pick. Not where they want to be right now. And the Omen of Vanity tries to get back into the site. T1 looking for the spike to get planted. It goes down. You see explosions in front of Curry, bright and colorful, but they don't do the damage that they need to. T1 holds the advantage as Whippy falls as well. Nice shot from Zelsis, answered back by Curry. Effie to post up next. And he from above, also watching that angle. And he was so good last time around, and he and Effies will have to repeat the success of the previous in order to seal the deal and prevent T1 from getting their very first round. The timeout may be paying dividends, just continuously chunking away a damage. Skadoodle wraps around the edge, and there you go, two picks for them. Overtime. Wow. Uh, well, that was, of course, a force buy there from version 1, and a direct confrontation on A is probably exactly what you want in that situation. Uh, unfortunately for version 1, they didn't have any shotguns, so they weren't in great positions to take those fights. As ...themselves to be quite strong now on this A site twice in a row. Can they make it a third? Spike goes down successfully, and Penny has to fall off. Everybody's still alive in the server. Viper's pit goes out, and there's a lockdown. Tons of utility and ultimates being thrown left and right. And he's the first one to capitalize off of it, though. Down goes Skadoodle. The Sage can't harm you any longer. Zelsis, amidst the confusion, is sitting on the spike. Are they aware of this? He gets taken off. It's at the halfway mark. Everybody's going back and forth, but no V1 will capitalize. Green to push these players further back and goes those flash bangs as we see the uh, the bird bangs as we see a second automatic has his back turned to him they see him at the same time he and curry both working together automatic technically doesn't hit a single shot on that one it's gonna leave zelsis above he's over by heaven as well He'll continue to march towards dawn as best as he can he gets oh. gunned down by Brax, doesn't see him stand fight with Dawn. Brax is not too far off as well, looks in the wrong oh. direction. I don't think Dawn hits a single shot. Good news, Brax does. Effie's in a 1v5. The defender's excelling on all of these pistol rounds. Went with Effie's on the right click, drops one. You know he's got two. Automatic is very low, as are Skadoodle, but the time runs out, and there's not. These engagements, version one, are ready to push into A, all stacked up together, though. Here comes Skadoodle. Is he going to be the first in the line of defense? What is he possibly going to do? He falls away. There goes one of the Astro Orbs. Finds Curry and Dawn. And Penny and Zelsis are removed from action. Curry still above. V1 are holed up at the moment. They might want to fall off, but they don't have tons of time. You have to rotate with 10 seconds left? Yeah, good luck. Instead, maybe just save. He stacked up. It's just the Killjoy right now with her arsenal of weaponry. Mm-hmm. This is going to be an important moment for Curry, and he's got the support for the paint shell there. Automatic doing even more damage, but Vanity able to get the re. Great response from version 1. Good answer, especially considering that they don't even have a full buy this round. They're just trying to force it out as best they can. Automatic's to the left, Penny's looking to the right. This could be a duel for the ages, though he doesn't have the weaponry that he wants. Automatic, with the gun in hand, well, he'll be the one to come out on top of that. The Spectre hits its marks, and down goes Vanity. There's more lined up. He'll quickly oh. swap, but he's capitalized on by Penny, who pushes up quite a good... This is a tough spot for him to be in, because he has to make noise regardless of what he wants to do. Effies and Penny managed to collapse in the last two members, and Skadoodle inside of screens. You've got lots of time to check this one through. Are you even going to bother to engage here? There goes the wall in front of you, but the three players from version one seem to be a bit too far. And no way you're going to get the spike either. 
can't really... And immediately engage in a duel. Gets spotted by the turret. Backs away. Thinks that somebody's towards the back, but no, he's not. He'll try to hit the ropes and go down, but there's a lot of gunfire. Down goes Whippy. Brax patrolling this area. Two kills for him. Phantom in hand. He's also looking towards Garage. Effie's his next one up. Vanity shuts him down. Don trades it off. Vanity now inside of the site, but he gets outdueled by automatic. Doesn't look like any of those shots hit their mark. Any four... Decided to forego armor this time around. Curry Ooh. sees the shoulder, down goes Penny. It's not going to save you from that operator, whether you had it or not. The automatic is on the flank. You might be able to catch up quite well. I'll go the paint shells. This could be some significant damage done. His paint shells don't connect the way that he wants them to, but the Vandal does, and Whippy falls. Yeah, now it's really down to Vanity to get a pick at mid, and he's going to be the one who gets picked, in fact. Curry will shut him down with the operator. We got a share it there. Brax gets Zelsus on a. ramp by A, and now it's just Epi's. He gets that off. No. Yeah, it seems like it's set up here for A though, committed for by T V1, and T1 has got to be ready. They are already rotating. Automatic first lead off kill. Ultis are gonna come out. Automatic connects with the second. He doesn't need his gun for that one. No ace though for him as Curry picks up two. A full house on the board. One gets two, the other gets three. Why not go for it? Automatic picks up the third, and indeed a full house is on the board. On vents. Could be flushed out of it if the nano swarm goes off by Zelsus. Put it away. Back in his pocket he goes, maybe trot it out another day. Continue to jiggle away at this spot as Effie's watches to see if somebody's gonna go on oh. the flank. Curry pulls off a double. My goodness, the second one that we've seen so far. It was automatic the first time. And he's gonna share it with his teammate this time. That doesn't bode well. 4v1 with a minute to go, finding yourself in a 3v5. Uh, that's not great, obviously. And Curry's also wise to this pushover by A. He'll get his third. He's actually set up for a fourth. But he misses that opportunity. But low though, Whippy dies to the pistol and Skadoodle cleans up. No ace for Curry, but does it really matter? The impact is clear and a full buy round for version one falls flat. Unfortunate for them and things are getting really grim for V1. They've already pulled that ripcord of having the timeout, so they'll just continue to trudge forward with T1 commanding just about every single part of this matchup. Did my eyes deceive me there? Was Curry 13 and 2? Was that the was that I, a correct number that I saw? I mean, mind you, V1 has only won a single round, which means that the likelihood of anybody on T1 having more than four or five deaths is quite small. We still have also two donuts on version one right now. That is is to say two people with no kills. So that also makes a big difference. You're not gonna die a lot if that's the case. It's a tough spot for them to be in and Frankly, good, you, great ability usage and excellent utility and ultimate usage that we see so far. Lockdown comes out by the way. That's going to give some space for version one. Oh. They use two ultimates of their own. So, well, Viper's pick goes out. The Astral goes out. Lockdown oh. goes out, but it's answered back with a lockdown from the defenders as well. And Dawn nets the very first kill. They are slaughtering V1 right now on this retake. Automatic down to one HP. Penny will need to get his way out of there. He swings right in, but that's only one kill for him. It's all on the shoulders of Vanity to try and do something before that screen goes up. Automatic sees another and will now push over to ramps, trying to flank from behind. Penny brought back from the dead as a resurrection from Effie's is successful, but it's not long lived for Effie's. He drops to Automatic a second kill. With that resurrection, it's possible for Automatic to pick up six kills here in the round, if it weren't for Vanity, who ends his reign of terror on A Heaven. Ooh, this is going to be a wrap back to B, but as you can see, T1 is so ready for this in mail, and Penny's better in that defensive fight! The second in mail, though, is Brax, and he'll get one before Whiffy shuts him down. Skadoodle now in the one versus three. We've seen some miracles for the man before, but he is really far from the objective here. Plenty of time for Whippy to pick the perfect plant for this spike, and he'll get it down. And now he'll fall off and watch heaven. B heaven, that is. There's two heavens on this map. Connector being watched from the spawn as well by Penny. We'll float on over to Skadoodle. There he is. He's Hello. over by that trash pile. In the garage. Very slowly, very carefully. Skadoodle in his natural habitat. Retaking the site. Looking for his prey. There it is. Finds one kill on to Whippy. Star goes out in front of him. He'll move around it. Just a bit of a cloak. Some damage being done to him. We've got an actual real clutch on the board here, but the spike is about to hit the point of no return, so no nature documentary is. Skadoodle, well, 
His natural habitat, where is it? We don't know. He gets punished for it. Version 1 pick up the first domino as their comeback brewing. This is the very final half. V1 looking to stitch together some form of mental momentum. Paint shells from automatic claim effies, but not before the spike can get planted by the Sage. Still watching the link on in. T1 up top on B heaven right now. They've got full artillery to make this one work. Automatic boosting on in. Ulti out. Can he do some damage here with the showstopper? Yes, he can. Only claims one on the penny. Whippy now just waiting for them to push on up. They're on the spike. Gravity Wall comes out to try to suck them off of that spot. Vanity can't slow them down for too far. Zelsus picks off Dawn. He's got his work cut out for him. Get Going on A. That's not good. That's not what you want to see. Vanity from above over on A heaven as he'll now run over towards screens. Not too far off of Zelsus. Zelsus looking for the very first kill. He's going to find it on the curry. Answered back by Dawn. Zelsus next one up though and he picks up another kill. Automatic shuts him down. Skadoodle got spike in hand. Plant going down. Whippy's going to try his best. They're all jumping in. Oh! But Effie's goes. Desperately running out of time. They're going to get past the point of no return very quickly. Vanity right now is going to be the one sitting on the screen in the middle of the site. Trying to pull them all in. Maybe blind them. A lot of targets prioritization. Zelsus one, Vanity the other. Down goes Effie. His reign of terror is over. You can breathe easy. But Curry and Brax have their work cut out for them in a 2v3. Zelsus can't be stopped. And just like that, he and Penny combined for the... Is, uh, is her healing prowess on him, but she's got it. At any point, Automatic can potentially receive it. Zelsus is hugging the screen. 30 seconds, by the way, on an incredibly slow round thus far. No real major action. Automatic tries to sneak up, but he gets gunned down by Vanity. V1 in full control. Vanity can't connect more than that. The frenzy for Skadoodle as he now pulls out the Vandal. Reconnects. It's him in a 1v2. Trying for the bullet pens oh. on Nazelsis. With the spike going down, he has to hurry. He has plenty of time. Whippy coming from over towards screens. Does Skadoodle have any intel? T1 have been in free fall. Whippy looking to keep the streak alive for version 1, but Skadoodle cannot win the gunfight. Whippy comes out on... Any players in your journeys? Whippy watching Garage, and T1 are stacked up in that particular area. Four of them, waiting. There's an Astra Star on the ground. Whippy will continue to jiggle peek around. He's actually just a tiny bit over the head, looking to drag down. They'll connect on automatic. Assuming the follow-up, he'll walk backwards before firing away. That back pedal, not connecting with anything that he wants. <gasps> Meanwhile, Curry's up top. Out go the Seekers. A lockdown also will come on out, and it's just absolute mayhem from above as Curry completely utility dumps. But V1 can stop him before anything can really happen. They're holding on to this defense, and they'll stop the plant from going down, at least for now. Cosmic Divide preventing Whippy from seeing what's on the other side. He gets gunned down by Dawn. It's a 3v3. T1 still desperately trying to find a round here on attack. This is one of the closest attempts that we've seen of them thus far. But the timer's not working out in their favor. It's going to be right on the Razor's edge. And he drops out those satchels trying to stop it. Can't do it in time. Looking to connect on the Dawn. Successful. Vanity and Zelsus clean up. Everybody gets in on the fun. One kill so far. Three ultimates being trotted out by T1. And right now, all they've been able to do is get that spike down. And and I say all that they've been able to do because they've done it quite successfully thus far. The retake is where it's going to be toughest. Automatic misses his shot. That's not good news. Vanity capitalizes off of it in the Viper's Pit. They'll try to do some damage. Skadoodle, the very first kill for T1. But Penny, oh. a big double, and it's a collateral. Vanity's brought back two for added measure. And there goes Curry, and there goes the round. V1 on such an impressive streak. T1 cannot close this gap on the board. Wow, what a massive win from T1. Ooh. It's funny because geez, that's not even the nastiest shot he landed. That that one mid-air, yes. I gotta see that. There it is. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Doesn't want that push to be particularly easy for T1. They worry about what's on the other side of that nebula, and they'll continue to push forward. Vanity sees one soaring through the air, but the gunfire from T1 works better. Two big kills from them. Penny shut down from above. T1 seemingly have found some vigor and a new lease on life. Zelsus and Whippy to hold now against the hordes. Might they save? Worry if you do is that T1 moves. But you were able to recoup and rotate fast enough to recover. Far too many angles for him to watch there, and they just got they got sucked in by the gravity well and then finished off. Played well at the doorway leading from garage into the B site. And there you have it. There's another one that's shown up on your screen. Version one took the fight very early on in the second gravity well right there as well with the slow orb. Spike. Wonder Parker, but right now we got by ramp vanity going down to automatic. That's huge. That could be the opening. T1 need 
It's not secured yet, but there's no ultimates for V1, so this is going to be difficult from the retake on the A side if Zelsis loses his fight. The boombot goes off, so there's some information, but not a ton. Effies oh. loses that one to Brax. Effies has been so good on those shots so far today, and that's a bad time for him to have some stumbles. Mid-pressure, now alleviated. T1 can continue to move forward with that map control. Looking at the back of B, where Viper is currently sitting, and Whippy doesn't understand that the storm is on its way. Those storm clouds gathering above. Curry might be able to stop this on Link, but no, Whippy shuts him down. Turns around the corner, Skadoodle outduels him. Curry trades off on Zelsis. 